beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is michelle we talk about things life love spirituality law of attraction all of that juicy goodness in this video we are going to talk about death <laughs> we're going to talk about death to the old version of the person who we used to be who needs to kind of fall away in order for us to receive the new so when we are manifesting we might be manifesting ten thousand dollars right well, you might have to step into this role of being somebody who can earn $10,000 and your current version of yourself is not earning $10,000 a month. We'll say $10,000 a month. So the person you might have to become to receive that money has to kind of step out of the old skin that you're living in right now. And what that might look like and feel like in the moment before the manifestation arrives, you might feel like you're dying you might feel like you don't know who you are anymore. You might have friendships that just start falling away and you're like, where are they going? Why are these people leaving me? Why is everybody ignoring my calls? Um, the universe might abruptly pull the, your car away from you in some way. It might make it break down. You might get an accident. You start to lose everything that this older version of yourself or well, your current version of yourself has. You start to lose it because you asked for something better. And when we ask to hop over here to the person that's making $10,000 a month, you have to become somebody new who can maintain that and hold it and nurture it. This older version of you, if you were to receive $10,000 right now, and you're not that person in that vibration that's making that money or earning it or having it, you're going to sabotage and you're going to find a way to lose it or spend it you're just subconsciously going to do that. So it's good when you start to see things breaking down in your life. It's scary. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very scary. When people start to fall away, you start to feel like you're losing money. Maybe you lose a job and it's not in your control. And you're like, what is going on? But your higher self is sitting down and being like, yay, we're moving you to something better. We just have to kind of peel away these layers and get them out of your life because they don't match your vibration. That's going to be over here making $10,000 a month. And it can be really, really uncomfortable, but it's really, really comforting to step into your higher self and say, okay, I remember Michelle teaching me this. When things start to fall away or fall apart or break down, or maybe I get really, really sick, or maybe a family member gets really, really sick, you can pause and say, okay, there's a higher order here. There's something being moved. I'm being moved. I'm shedding layers. You might be throwing up. <laughs> You're literally purging the old version of who you were. So you can step into that new version of yourself that is eating differently, that's working out more, that's driving a different car, that's about to walk into a new job and they need to be in a higher vibration that eats better and works out in order to do the work to receive the $10,000. And this is textbook. It happens all the time, even with small manifestations, even when you're manifesting, like say $500, you might find yourself like just on the couch being so drained one day and you're just exhausted. You are shedding something in that restful period. You're in the cocoon phase. You're becoming new in order to receive that extra $500. And it's such a unique experience and everybody experiences it so differently. I know for me, I immediately know there's like, there's days where it's completely quiet. Me and my niece were sitting out on my front stoop the other day and we both sat there and I just was like, it is so quiet. Like there was nobody texting us, nobody calling us. We were sitting there. There was no neighbors around and it was just very, very quiet. And when the energy is quiet, that's like the eye of the storm. The universe is moving people, places, and things around you. And it will give you like a good 12 to 24 hours of silence. And your, your vibration is very, very still. And you're about to receive something. So you're resting before the, you receive the new version of yourself. And there might be a little bit of anxiety in there. There might be some angel numbers. There might be music that's very synchronistic to what you're manifesting. So we have all of these signs that are showing us the way, but in the midst of the breakdown and the scary part, when you feel like you're losing things, I want you all to take a step back, become the observer and say, I trust in this. 
I wholeheartedly know the universe has my back and I'm being taken to something better. Even if it's somebody you absolutely love that is falling away, you can sit there and say, I trust in God. I trust in the universe. I know that this might not be permanent. Maybe it's temporary, but you can trust in this higher plan, this higher order, because it's all here for you. Nothing in our lives happens to hurt us. Everything is here to help us grow and to help us learn. And when we embrace that, when we embrace the death of, of who we used to be, we become this magnificent light that is now new. We're brand new. It's a rebirth. When we're not experiencing this death and we're not experiencing loss and we're not experiencing the quiet days and the anxiety filled days, maybe we're just experiencing straight discomfort every single day. That's somebody resisting this change. They don't want to change. They, they want them. They want to, you know, manifest something better for themselves, but they stay complaining about it all day long. And that's not how it works. We have to be open to change. So that's the main point of this video is when there's breakdown, when you feel like people are falling away, do not grip, do not grip onto what's going away from you. Cause that's the old life and you're stepping into a new version of yourself. So your mind will create a story about, I got, oh my gosh, you can't leave me. I, I'm not going to survive on my own. Or why am I so sick? Is something really wrong with me? You might even feel like you're dying. You might, like I went through that phase this, this summer. Um, I have definitely stepped into a new version of myself. And I know in order for me to do the speaking engagements that I'm going to be doing in the future, like I have to be this new version of myself. I have to be somebody who can step on a stage or step on camera, or step in front of cameras and speak. But the old Michelle, who was so used to being a teacher, teaching in a classroom or a YouTuber sitting quietly in her own home speaking, that's a version of myself that's not ready for that big step. So I had to let go of her. And for about a month, I would tell my friends, I feel like I'm dying. Like I would look at my hair and I would feel like my hair was falling out. I would, I don't know. I just had this, I would get a cold and be like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. It's like my, subcon my subconscious quick thought was you're dying. But I really was, I was purging an old layer of who I was. And now I see it because I'm out of it and I'm in this new version of myself and I'm brand new. I have this confidence about me. I, I know I can do anything. I know I can face my fears. But in order to get into this stage, I literally thought I was dying. Like, really, I was like, my nieces and my nephews were over. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you guys, if anything happens to me, you can have this pillow and you can have this cute little figurine. Like, I was literally dishing out my stuff to my nieces. And they were all like joking, like calling shotgun and all the things in my house. But that's where my head was at. It's so bizarre that our mind does that. So our soul feels that energy that's peeling off those layers and shedding the new skin and, and we're birthing a new version of ourselves, but the mind doesn't understand what's going on. So it creates a story and it thinks we're dying. So if you're listening to this and you're going through that too, you're not dying. You're fine. <laughs> you're just about to be this new kick-ass version of yourself and it's okay. And it's safe to step into that version of yourself. You're going to feel so expansive and so amazing. And if you're wanting to step into this new version of yourself, I would call you to write down what you want for yourself. Start manifesting, start picking out the life that you want. You know, if you don't like your job, start painting a picture of a job that you would really want to do. And when your mind jumps in and says, yeah, that's not possible. Think about me. I taught for 17 years and I always said, I want to wake up whenever I want. I want to work from home. I want to help people. Uh, from the, from a computer, or I want to do readings for free for people. Like I just had all these ideas, but I'm like, there's no way I can make money doing that. And now look at me, I'm waking up whenever I want. I'm posting videos, posting content. People are booking me for sessions. I'm working from my home. I'm getting paid more than I did teaching and it's magical. So all we have to do is write down and ask for it, but then we have to be willing to make the change into the person that has, that has the thing. We have to be ready to transform into the Michelle who can wake up on her, on her couch or on, in her bed whenever she wants and not feel guilty and not sabotage it. So I went through maybe like four or five months where I was living this life, but I was feeling like it was wrong. 
Like I wasn't worthy of it. And I was like, wait, why, why am I allowed to do this? And not everybody can do this. I felt selfish. And I had to decondition my mind and those thought patterns to say, no, Michelle, you created this and you did the work because you had faith and you trusted. So I'm here to inspire all of you to take charge of your life, write down whatever it is that you want, and then the universe will bring it to you. But you have to be willing to be that person and to not listen to the mind telling you that it's not possible because I am proof. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, lovies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, drop me a comment and really let me know where would you wanna make change in your life? And maybe I can help you get there. All right, lovies, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.